Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here, and today I have a layout for Confessions of a Paper Addict design team, and I am using the Floral Cluster 7, I believe it was. This is the one that was released in July, and what I did is I cut out the cut file twice. The first time I cut it out regularly, so it just does the outline of the floral, and then the second time I ran it through and just cut out the outline because instead of backing it with pattern paper, I decided to take my Distress Oxide ink and my blender brushes and go ahead and just color in this outline cut part of the cut file. And so that will be what I'm going to use instead of pattern paper. And I'm going for a summery, bright, happy floral, um, that is obviously large in size. So this is going to take up the majority of the page. And so it is going to do most of the work for embellishing on this page. I do add some other things, uh, but this floral obviously takes center stage along with my photo. And I really love how it turned out. This picked raspberry distress, distress oxide ink is so bright and so fun. And I love how this floral turned out. What I also love about using the distress ink and these blender brushes is you get variation in color and I love the way it looks. So as you can see, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to glue that down off camera, but that's going to be the cut file that we're going to use. And then to really make my cut file pop, I am taking some Spiegel Mom scrap sequins in, I believe this is called Malibu Sunset or something along that line. And I'm just showing you what I'm going to do, but off camera, I'm going to take the blue sequins in this pack and fill in those centers of the florals. And as you can see, the reason I chose the blue is because my background paper for this is going to be that beautiful blue, which I have added some white paint splatters to as well to really sort of just make everything pop. And I am using my How to Kill a Kit with Style, which is featuring the Simple Stories Sun-Kissed collection for the most part. Um, I have almost all of the embellishments, I think, for this kit. And then I do have a few other uh, bits and pieces, which if you want to see what was in that kit, you can always check my video from the beginning of the month. But that is where I am going to get all the embellishing for this page and all the papers that is all the pattern papers that I'm using, except for the Project Life type card that I have behind the photo, the pink one, that is not from the Sunkiss collection. <clears throat> so basically, you see, I have gone ahead and I've layered up my photos, or layered up my pattern papers and my photo, and I've gone ahead and placed my cut file on the page because, like I said, that cut file is large, and I knew it was going to take up a good portion of the page. So basically what you're going to see me do here is I'm just going to lay out where my embellishing clusters are going to go. So I know I'm going to have three embellishment clusters. I'm going to have one up there at the top uh, right of the page and then I'm going to have the rest of the clustering just around the photo and they are really, really simple clusters. There is not a whole lot. I don't add a whole lot to the clusters because like I said, I really wanted the uh, cut file and the photo to stand out. I am using a uh, an acrylic piece from Colorcast Designs and it's that relaxing one. So that's going to be my title is Relaxing Poolside because this is a picture of me laying by our pool just relaxing in the sun and getting dried off after a swim. And so this was kind of a perfect title and a perfect cut file to kind of give that you know, summer vibe going on this page. I'm just finishing out the layout. I did glue everything down off camera and I'm just finishing it up here with some of these adhesive brads. And then I do believe that I pull out a couple of those puffy stickers. Um, I think only one or two in, of, of the hearts, I believe, make it on the page. Um, and so once I have that in place, that is pretty much going to do it for this page. I will have in the description box below links to the store and the Facebook group. Be sure to hit up the Facebook group if you're not already a member and grab the free cut file that Virginia releases every month, as well as you can use that link to get to the store and stock up on lots of amazing, um, cut files. 
grab this one if you're a big fan of florals. There's tons of beautiful florals in the shop. I always tend to lean toward the floral cut files, so you often see lots of projects from me with those floral cut files. And there you have it. That is going to finish up the page. I did go ahead and add a few more sequins in each of my embellishment clusters. And with that, here are the still photos and we are going to call this one done. So with that, everybody, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.